All right, picking up the Trackhawk. I want to show you guys what I did to it. Okay. What's up, bro? How are you? You good? I'm good. That looks way better. Oh, yeah. See what you're talking about by doing just these? It looks like a okay. SRT. Yeah. This is like the factory. Have you seen them when they come from the factory? Yeah. Got the black roof. All the way down to the spoiler. Looks so much better like this. Yep. I still gotta get that door fixed. Right over there and get that rocker fixed. Well, that's about it. This one is still for sale. I'll talk to you guys about it in a second, but the white one's sold. Well, that's the new look. What you guys think? All right, got some nice shots. Now we're gonna head back to the, uh, we're actually gonna go to the car wash first. I'm gonna wash it up and then take some nice pictures of it. The white one is sold. I kind of mentioned that in the beginning of the video. Uh, this one hasn't been sold yet. A lot of offers, but I'm not gonna let this one go too easy. This one has lower miles. And now it looks a lot better with the little cosmetic thing that we did. And so we're gonna go wash it up. Uh, I'm taking nice pictures of it. We'll post that probably tonight on Instagram. And uh, we'll show you guys the other healthcare that I bought and what's going on with that. Crazy. See the wheels? I think those oh, wheels yeah, look nice on your car. Yeah, I'm gonna move the door out of the way. This is a wide body, yeah. Oh, yeah. So these wheels, they're gonna stick out a bit, but it's gonna look real nice. Okay. See how that looks? Yeah. How do you think that looks? That's gonna look crazy. That's gonna look good, right? Looks crazy. like a tank driving down the road. <laughs> nah, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I mean you can always change. Let's say you drive it, you don't like it. You can just put the regular five spokes back on there. But it's gonna look nice, especially if you drop it a bit, because your suspension is gonna sit like this. If you think that gap is too big, we can put them on some lowering springs, and it'll sit nice and flush. I mean, if you like it, then you like it. But come see the dash on this one. If you like that dash, I can keep that dash for you. See how that looks. Or if you want to keep the look of the 300, you might as well keep the yeah, same I might one. As well just keep the, can you change like the inside? Like yeah, this? that's what you're gonna yeah, have. Yeah, that's yeah, what you're gonna yeah. have. Yep. You're gonna have that. You're gonna have this steering wheel. This is the exact one, and you're gonna have the radio with the SRT pages and all that. But your actual dash, like this part, is gonna stay looking like a 300 one. Yeah. Uh, these are the seats I was gonna put in there, but like I said, I think red on red is too much. So we could wrap these in white, then put your emblem on there with your number on there, yeah, and then uh, we'll have the SRT with the cat on there in black. It'll look real nice. Now these calipers, oh, I thought they were red. They're silver. So you wanna make those red? Or you wanna keep them silver? Which one? That one got Brembo's on it? This one is four. Nah, no, we'll keep those. We could just uh, paint those and be red if you wanna make them red. Or if you like the silver. See how the front ones look? You think so? Red. I mean, mine's red, but my color is white after I wrapped it. This one came with the intake too, so you're gonna have intake on your car. That's what's gonna be under your hood. <laughs> That's fine. Yep. Well, yeah, everything else is uh, it's all set. You see how bad the hit was? That's 
the real life. Uh, yeah, it's bad. All right, so we got his car. We're gonna pull it in near the donor, take a nice picture of it, and then he'll be on his way. He's real cool people, man. We're gonna make this one look right for him. Hopefully, I'm trying to get it out within two weeks. If I could get the uh, the donor to the body shop, have him pull that side uh, side pillar, so we can work on it. It should be done within. Damn, that was close. Uh, two to two to three weeks, I would say. All right, guys, so we got it chopped up with him. Um, I got to move this one out of the way. I got to bring the silver one back here. So both track hogs are going to be here for now. And then I got to bring the red 300 here. I'm probably going to strip it here and do the install next door. I'm not sure yet, but let's get everything moved out the way. And then I'll show you guys what we're doing. I'm going to call the guy that owned this car. Yeah, hit me up on Instagram. So this is him. Let's show it to him. What up, man? What's going on, G? You good? Yes, sir. This uh, this yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! It came a long way. Took the doors off of it so I can see what's going on, man. That door is destroyed. Hell uh, yeah! Craziest part, I wasn't even in the car when it got crashed. Oh, this wasn't you? Nah. Damn. I wasn't the one dropped. Hey, they had they had something wired up. See these wires? Was that you? Uh, that's the uh, sound system. That's why I was saying check the fuse, cause uh. Probably when the dude crashed it, um, they probably showed it one of the fuses instead of the uh, fuse box. Probably is, man, because I didn't, I didn't even mess around with it yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, it's clicking. Like when you try to start it, <clears throat> it clicks, yeah. but it, it's not, it's not turning over. So the starter's, yeah. in, the starter's doing its job. It's just not, it's not cranking. You replaced the 180 uh, amp fuse? No, I didn't, I didn't look into it. I just literally started working on it. I took the doors off. And uh, I was trying to see if I could see cut up wires, but it's hit up too bad. I can't see what's going on behind there. Yeah, I think that might have been what it is, though. Because uh, the motor the motor should be good. It looks like, fine. I, I checked the oil. No, because I work on it. What'd you say? I said the motor should be good because I do all the oil changes myself. So, okay. Is it is it stock? I mean, anything done to it, like mods wise? Uh, nah, I didn't even do anything else besides the JLT and the Catalyst Mids. That was really it. Oh, and it got cats on there. Uh, yeah, it don't got no cats. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to uh, I'm about to pull out these fuses and see what's going on. They had it wrapped up pretty good, so I had to take all this plastic off. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's the other thing. They have it wrapped up. Uh, the first day that they towed it off, when I came up to the um, place the next day. Oh, you got it out. So hey, what? Uh, were you able to send down the papers that was in there and the glove box? I didn't see none in there. All right. This probably just the Bible. Oh, just that, yeah. Oh, shit. I'll send right, that out to you. Check my stuff again, cause I, I'm missing a gun permit. So I was trying to see where it's. Uh, it was in there. Huh? I said it was in here. Yeah. Sure. If I find it, I'll send it to you. All right. I'll get you. But and all that stuff that's in the back, that's from uh, I guess the junkyard or the IAA place that had it, because um, none of that stuff was back there when I left. Oh really? Yeah. So they were just throwing all that stuff back there. Okay. Yeah, I bought it, man, and everybody kept tagging you. I'm like, this guy must be the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything, everything is going into this one right here. Oh, shit. Are you swapping? Okay. I'm, I'm going to swap it. You know Isaiah Thomas? He plays for the Indiana Pacers? Yeah. This is his car. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was just there. He just left. Bro, let me tell you this. So... I was watching you since when you had when you did the first swap on the um the first three hundred when you did the uh, the silver one. Yeah. Okay. And then you sold nah you sold it to little baby. Yup yup that one got sold little baby. Yeah so that's why I was like when everybody was tagging me I was like no way he brought my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a parts car for a minute man you can't find nothing I, this these are the kind of cars that I need because they got everything that I want. Like I don't, yeah. I don't care for the door, obviously, but you know the powertrain, the suspension was straight. Um, right. I mean, it's little, it's hit a little bit more than what I wanted, but like I can always yeah. replace that seat. The seat ain't a problem. With, uh, I seen on the video that the transmission tunnel had wound up being in luck. Dude, it's hit pretty what? bad. You want to see? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but see the, you see the trans tunnel? Damn. Yeah, it's, it's crunched pretty good. Yeah, you know when he landed in there, yeah. it was a tree. Yeah. 
You're getting your calls for RFH? Uh, fast uh, I'm talking to my guy. Hold on. What did you say? Uh, fast entry antenna circuit to open. Oh, that's for the door. Because there's antennas in the doors. Yeah, oh, we, okay. we took the doors off. Okay. But hey, um, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try starting. I got your number now. I'll keep you updated though. Alright. And then if I find anything in here, uh, just text me your number and I'll, I'll mail them out. I need. I need those uh, keys though. Look out on the keys. Yeah. Um. Uh, matter of fact. Got you right here, man. You talking about these right here? Yep, yep. <laughs> That's what That's I need. <laughs> it's this one right here. It's these two. Yep. Because this is my other Hellcat, so these two. Yeah, that one. That one got the same one in there. Yeah. Yep. Keep in touch and see what's going on. All right, man. Uh, I'll man. let you know uh, whenever you're ready to hear about the story, man. I got you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make another call about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Bro. All right. Nice talking. Yep. All right, after about 30 minutes of messing around with it, we were able to get in the garage. As of now, it still does not turn on, but I'm gonna try to cut this whole pillar off. Where's my uh, my blade? We got a new blade in there. We're gonna try to cut it. I know this is a really thick layer of steel, but I'm trying to separate it from these two and then try to pop this off around it and then see if I can find any shorts in there. Um, it's getting really good power, um, but it's still not cranky. It's not turning over. So we're gonna do that and then uh, hopefully find the short. I'm not gonna start stripping until tomorrow. I just want to get it started before I strip it to make sure everything is good. I mean, the owner said it was good. It was well taken care of. He did all the maintenance on it, so the motor should be fine. But right now, when we get inside of it, it just clicks. And then if you give it a minute, watch this. You're going to hear the, cylinder, you're going to hear the actual starter disengage. Right there. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I just, clean, I just uh, scanned it with my scanner and it's getting no dtcs so that's not helping as well so let's uh let's try to mess around with it i'll try to cut that piece off um see if we can find any shorts and then i'll show you guys a 300 and what the plans are with that one